And we're back with another episode of Let's Play Grandia 2. I'm your host, Nick Legato, and all hell is broken loose. We're inside the body of Valmar. I hope we don't go near the colon. Ugh. This place is pretty straightforward. Um, as we go into our first battle here. With Valmar bugs, I'm sure. Something Valmar. Venomous larva. Close enough. Go ahead and hit them with the usual um, contingency of shocking attacks and AoE followed by regular melee. See what results we can get here. Oh yes. Take that. But look in the bank. If we give them the shocker, hopefully some Mary can do some damage. But we didn't get a kill per se. Or are we going to get one via that manner? So let's go ahead and finish them all off with a burn flame. It's probably our best bet. Flame. Something light. Like Bud Light. Wow, that did nothing too. Oops. We'll have to use something a little different next time then. There we go. Luckily nobody got poisoned. Caterpillar soup, whatever that is, uh, nothing we should really care much about. Let's keep moving. So we reach our first Freshot chest. The Potion of Azure, the Resist Dress, and a Golden Potion. Obviously the dress will be for millennia. That's a decent upgrade there. We make our way around and we fight another new enemy here, the spider type. You notice they're all bugs of some sort. Let's go ahead and hit them with Zap from our main Zapper. We'll let Ryudo pick off the stragglers as usual. This is the combo I like the most in my battles. Whenever, whenever um, Tio gets to go first and then followed by Ryudo, that's usually our best combo. Hopefully, it is our best combo. Doesn't always work the way I'd like it to, but for the most part, it works nicely. You can see that killed out most everything, and Ryudo just picks off the straggler there. Can't argue that battle strategy works like a charm, doesn't it? And it's and because Tio has such a high MP because of the skills I've invested into her, ha 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 ha, whoa, um, it works out for us all. All right, on that, and as you can see, this is just a big old circle, so it doesn't do much of anything. So we head all the way down here. We touch this little eye. Now the question is, do we want it to touch it then? Yeah, I think so. Um. Keep heading this way first. Can't go that way. More of these guys. Alright, let's keep moving. Burp, 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 burp. Money! Which is missed if you don't go and get this now. Yay! So we got ourselves a few bucks. Let's go ahead and head down the other passway now, that passageway that we haven't gone. And this is what we're really looking for. As we can move that out of our way and we open up two new paths. Mm push that we open up two more paths first things first though let's grab the four stone let's go ahead and push this push um, we get some money yeah. good money too and we gotta push this uh. Let's get a fight with these guys. Alright, killed him. Them. Wait, we get a panacea here. I don't think there's really... I want to say there's... No, there is something here. Go ahead and push it anyway. Let's see what we can find. And it's a dead end. So, that pretty much covers most of this zone that we can do for the time being. Let's go ahead and hit up and over. Derp, 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 derp. We should be able to jump. And this leads us to the Vein Passage. Whatever that is. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, it's this place. Ugh, I hate this place. We're thrown into another battle. This time with some new enemies, but familiar shapes. The immune cell and the brain bat. We know brain bats have strong magic attacks, and immune cells have some nastiness attached to them as well. So let's 
hit them with a bolt spell and weaken them and see how well bolt is effective. How effective bolt is. And go after the ones casting magic. Because I hate being hit by magic spells. And you should hate it too. Unless you can absorb it, which I don't think we can do it. Oh yeah. Didn't really do any damage to the immune cell. Did some damage to the brain bat, so we're gonna have to re-strategize what we want to do about that. Let's go ahead and do the Lotus Flower. That, as you can see, that did some massive damage right there. And Merig. Just gonna have to work this one down. And the battle is pretty much won. So, as you can see, lightning is not insanely effective, other than the fact that it has a chance to paralyze the enemies against the immune cells. So, obviously, melee is our best bet. So we'll have to, cons you know, keep that in mind. So we get a pretty bracelet, which I think is just a sellable, if I'm not mistaken. But whatever. Whatever. Oh, that leads back the way we can. We don't want to do that. We want to move forward. Because there's some enemies in here that need that require our attention. Well, they could be in another room. They float for, they move from room to room. So you may you have to be careful when looking for them. All right, the immune cells actually seem to be weak against fire. So, yeah, sounds like a plan to me. Revival gem. Still hear enemies somewhere. Maybe they're not as close as I think they are. Let's go ahead and press this in. This will obviously change the gates to allow us to move to yet other places. Which, that did us nothing, so let's press this. And it leads us to another one of these. With some new enemies, let's take them out. Alright, let's keep moving. Another battle. Okay, so killed them. Keep moving in deeper, shall we? Though I think I just backtracked, but pretty another pretty bracelet, another thing we don't really care about. Yeah, I don't know if I want to press another one of these quite yet. I think I backtracked and I went through here. And we want to go through here. And through here. Wow, this is a long corridor. Yeah, I was backtracking, but in a good way. That'll take us to the spherical room. But let's take care of those enemies first. Ah! Wait for them to respawn. Just because I don't like stragglers. There we go. Alright, let's keep moving. I mean, we could go through other things, these other rooms and chambers and stuff, but... Well, well, I don't know. Hold on. You know what? just keep exploring. Oh, look. See? That's what I would have gotten if I didn't explore. Would have missed that. I get the feeling I'm missing something else, but in all honesty, I really don't care anymore. Who would benefit most from the ninja clothes? Tio. And what does she have on before the dragon vest? Ninja clothes are better. Let's do that. You, know, you ever get the feeling you missed an item and you just really don't care because it's it's whatever it's a quaffable thing you could have it you could not never mind I'm gonna stop now because <laughs> we are rotating in some kind of nastiness here go ahead and head out and through and looky here we find our save point let's go ahead and exploit the hell out of that Saving. All right. Now let's head through and see what we can find here. The enemies haven't changed so much. I don't think. There's just different... Group. No, same grouping. <laughs> Easy battle. Okay. We won the day there. I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, it's been so long. Then this place is so... Linear, unlinear, well, not unlinear, but it's so. Ah, boy, I backtracked. At least I figured that out. 
Alright, let's try this again, shall we? That leads forward. Let's go this way first. Probably easier if you draw a map out of the first direction. Here we go, pretty bracelet. If you draw a map out of the under artery, you just kind of flip it over. Up. It's just the reverse, I'm assuming, because we can see the other passageway below us. So, you know, whatever. Okay, one that. Let's keep moving. Taking a fight again. Alright, barely made it through that battle. That battle was nasty. I got kind of surprised somehow. I don't know. Let's go ahead. We got a very rare drop. The Binding Circles. Slightly weaker than um, the Balor. It causes can cause paralysis and is lightning based. If you're not a fan of the Balor, that is definitely a very strong substitute. Um, I've, from my experiences just playing so far, I've noticed that a couple of enemies have been um, have been a little on the dark side of electric attacks. They just haven't really been working out very well, so I'm trying to avoid doing it. Reduces IP slowing. We'll put that there because he's the one who wastes IP for the most part. What do we get here? Another pretty necklace. Not that we care. There's the chest that I'm missing out on. It's probably the Sage's hat. It's the only thing I haven't picked up and I know that you can get it here. So, oh well. Not a big deal. We've got a bunch of pretty bracelets to sell. <laughs> Ignore that. Oh, battle this. Another battle one. As we run through here. Obviously we gotta press one of these. Nothing over there. Alright, now I know I'm going the wrong way. Oh, this hate this place. Something a friend of mine is just like, dude, it's the same thing upside down. It's like whatever, it's you try and memorize this shit. Ah. Not the right way either. Not the right way. See. Gotta be closing in on it. It's gotta be up and over there. So let's click that. It should be like no. Son of a bitch. It should be up and up here. Ah, there we go. Alright. Let's keep moving here. This should be the way out. Any treasure here? Yes, there is. A fire charm. Fire! Let's keep moving. And we're back here now. In a slightly different place, though. So you see, the enemies have respawned below, so whatever. And we are introduced to a new en enemy. Probably the most threatening one here. Um... It's always tough to say how to fight these guys, the Dino Freezers. Just don't let them use their AoE attacks on you. You should be okay. You should be okay. I mean, you will be, but you should be. Go ahead and hit with a zap. So I'm sure this is probably fire would have been better since they're called Dino Freezer. Oh well. My luck is heal them. <laughs> We're, gib we're gonna do some gibbing here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna put it in here. Let's see if Tremor does anything. I know that's kind of wasted. Eh, yeah, it wasn't that bad at all, actually. Killed that. They'll probably have very little life left in right now. Who cares? As Merig will now get to end it. Yeah. And the vic and victory is ours. Nice. As we now get to fight these guys yet again. Alright, easy battle. Let's go ahead and head down here. Yeah, fire is actually an instant gib for these dino freakers, so use fire. Alright. Let's go ahead and keep moving. As we get into another battle here. Or another turn point. Damn it, my phone's ringing. Hold on. Okay, one that. There's two different ways we can go here. One way leads us to enemies, and probably a treasure. Yeah. All right, one that, and we reach a silence loot. What it is, I don't know, because I don't think I've ever used it before. Because it was that useless. 
question mark. <laughs> Don't worry, something I wouldn't worry about. As you can see, we're back here on the bottom floor in the cube puzzle again. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab whatever. This is a magical medicine. Let's keep moving up here to get us some gold. So pretty much all the items we didn't get our first time down through this cube maze we'll be able to get now. Durr. For those of you who are not completely aware of what's going on. I have no idea what you're doing! Ah, Rainbow High Heels, obvious upgrade. For you, if it is truly better. And truly better it is. Gives warp evasion. Hmm. I would like to put it on Millennia, but if I put it on her, we'll never see him again. So the real question is, to, do I want to give him to someone else? I don't know. See, there we go. We've got better defense, better movement. That's not her concern. Um, so we'll probably save him for Elena, if anything. I'd rather save him for Elena. Rather save that for Elena, in all honesty. Because I think it's got a stronger presence, presence to it. This is backtracking, right? So we don't want to go that way. Nobody wants to backtrack. And I think I just screwed something up. Yep, I screwed up big time. I've got to exit and then come back, probably. Ugh. Ugh. Oh well. Let me go ahead and do that for you guys. I'll be right back. I'm losing my mind. I think officially, too. I was doing everything correctly. It just looks like I wasn't. Looked like I wasn't. Maybe. We'll find out. Yeah, I think I was going the right way initially. You can't take me anywhere. I'm just flipping out. It's been a long day. Very. It's been a long month. And it's only the beginning of the month. Didn't we already fight these guys? No, no, no. no. We're on the other side now. Alright. Fight another one. Easy win. Let's see. Now we gotta go up and around. Another jump here, final jump, and as you can see, I probably left a potion item around. Let's go ahead and recover. Now, before we save, let's go ahead and invest our massive amounts of skill and magic points. Um, now we can solely focus on magic and stuff like that. The Holy Egg is probably a keeper. Very likely to be a permanent item in our repertoire here. So I'm going to max it out, because who doesn't like instant full heals and all that crap? Um, if somebody's just sitting there going, whoa, dude, you just blew through a lot of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I know. We can now upgrade Millennia as well with this. Now, the question always is what to upgrade in here with when it, when it comes to Millennia. Because we haven't really been upgrading a lot. Let's just give her everything right now. Fallen Wings is definitely the best investment we can make early on. As you can see, I've still invested nothing in Merrick. And I just wasted all of our skill coins almost instantaneously. But there's a reason, you know, like I said, there's a reason to my rhyme and for everything, you know. Alright, so we'll save. Alright, let's keep moving. As we head into the body core. Let's see, what do we got here? Ew, we walked through that. Uh. Whoa, hello. Definitely not friendly looking. Is he dangerous? Eh, kinda sorta. He's, we fought more dangerous bosses in my opinion. And in my also in my opinion, we also were not equipped with such powerful spells. Oh yeah. Go ahead and open up with Sky Dragon Slash on all of our AoE stuff. Just unload. So that way we can take out the, the, the tentacles pretty much with AoE. No reason not to. We tear this piece of shreds here. Booyah. But we only hit the body, we don't hit the other parts, so. And eh, maybe not as mo the most effective option. Sworn enemies, you shall be defeated! Take oh, yeah. that! Sky Dragon Slash! Take that! Creepy looking thing. Yeah. While the body of Valmar is still kind of stunned, we can try and cancel him out if possible. Let's go ahead and use the Fallen Wings. Oh yeah! The 
This is my way of thanking you. You gonna get naked? Yeah, I didn't think so. And as you can see, I'm really just opening this battle with all AoE attacks. Use all of Millennia's SP, get it out of the way. By doing that, she'll it's possible she may even rage, and that's kind of what we want. Let's go ahead and use Tornado. He's flying Tensei Ken on an arm of some sort, since they just seem to be attacking. The body's gonna use Stram, so I'm not too concerned, I'm not hyper concerned about being hit by Stram. Release wind. See, we're just kind of unloading all as best as we can, the most that we can. Trying to get rid of his cohorts here as quickly as we can, too. As they're over half dead, so that's a good sign. As Millennia gets hit by the ground. Not that I care. Mary's probably going to take some damage, as you can see. Those arms can, the tentacles can reach him from where he's at. Or not, even. Actually, they could not reach him. Um, let's go ahead and attack the right tentacle. That's kind of what we're working on. We can do Fallen Wings yet again, our strongest consecutive attack so far. Or consistent attack, per se. Whatever. Never mind. Not this talking right well. <laughs> Not talking right today. can't reach anything but Valmar's body, or just one of the tentacles, which I'm not pretty keen on. So let's go ahead and use that fire burner and see if we can make something out of that. For you, let's have you work a little bit on the other tentacle. That way, the combination of the both of them should be able to finish them off. Or did I kill the other two and hit one? No. No, I killed one, but whatever. This will end the misery of the other one, hopefully. We can't really lift it, but we still do the skill. That should be a gib. Alright, so now that all that's left is the body. And the body really isn't very threatening by itself. Because we can slow it down if we really wanted to. We can do all kinds of things to it to show that it's not very threatening. We can cancel it out. Do all kinds of things. But first things first, let's hit it with the strongest stuff we got. Especially things that cancel. Because I hate getting hit by nasty stuff. Gads that. Heal crush. Uh, that's our health. Our health is completely full. Heal crush, why not? And after doing this, we should actually get away, be able to move away from them again. Oh yeah. Big kill right there. And here we go, we get one of these. <laughs> this is one of those skills that's just kind of weird, as it does some debuffs, I believe. But we won't know until we actually get to look over what debuffs it really did. As we hit him with Gat Zap, now that we can aim for single target strikes. Oh, yeah. You're going down, Claudio oh, Valmar. The shocker! Oh, it didn't really do as much as I was hoping, actually. Oh well. We're gonna get hit with a nasty magic attack or something. Strangulation. Oh yeah, look, it debuffs every aspect of him by one. So it's got some usefulness to it. We're gonna avoid the zap skills. I, don't, I just don't feel that they're working out very well. 
Because we can now cancel him out with the max skill. Ha ha ha. Zap, I don't want to be hit by that. Let me slow you down. Cancel! And the battle is won! I think we got another skill book or something. No, that's a, a, a relic or an accessory of some sort. But the battle, nevertheless, is won. We're all getting some leveling for that. May even want to check and see if we can equip some more skills on us. Cool it, manimal. <laughs> oh, that's rad. Manimal. He is a manimal. What the heck? Oh great, now she's got the body of Almar. Great, this couldn't get this can't get any worse. Yeah, but you don't take other people's bodies. That's kind of the point. As we get Elena back. It's like a serious schizophrenic rage, I think. Or it feels that way. Oh, yeah. That's right, Biatch. The Grana Saber is ours! Inside your face. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of interesting. I'd like some answers, Tio. Why are we inside anything? Crap! Sword of Omens, give me sight beyond sight! Look at us, look at us now, wielding a giant frickin' sword. Who didn't see that coming? Wink. The dildo of justice flies into the heavens! To stop that which is Valmar. God damn, we're high up! I kind of hope you do. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got to do now? Well, sounds like a plan to me. And now the earth itself shall be safeguarded. Yes, yes, yes. 
What's wrong, Elena? Well, Celine's out of her mind. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of that. Yes, time to rest. Holy crap, she didn't fall! I need to get me one of these rad things, these rad flying things. I need to get me one immediately. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> oh, ouch. Oh boy, cat fight. Wow. Talk about psycho bitch. <laughs> I thought Tio was supposed to be her own master, and look at she's pouring tea for Ryuta. You gotta love satire. Yeah, really. Yeah, well, you know, if it were that simple, we'd all be happier. The day of darkness! Yeah, that's right. My ass blocking out the sun. Blue moon, you saw me standing alone. Dun 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 dun. Shit be wacky. Yeah. Holy crap, that moon looks pretty scary. That's right, run! Run, feeble mortals! No, there's a giant moon that looks like an eyeball. Because it's the day of happiness and peeping toms. And look at the religious dogmatics, dogmatic mortals running to their god. There is irony in what I just said, mind you. I didn't say it just to be mean. There is irony to all of this. As we finally land, it's a hell of an exit. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. In the nights, yeah, yeah. Slow down. What the hell are you talking about? Oh wait, he said that. But. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Let's find out what's really going on, since there's apparently something askew. Where's this lead? Not into town. We want to go into town. Okay, we're gonna head this way. Uh oh. Well, we're about to find out one way or the other, aren't we? The shit be whack, yo. We demand answers. I demand answers. 
Let's see, where are we? We're out in front here. The inn is there. Let's go to the general store. We haven't been to a store in God, a couple of, maybe an episode or two. Let's see if there's anything new for us to buy. The Holy Sword Blade. Enemies defense level. I like the sound of that. Let's go ahead and equip that bad boy. Priest Staff. There we go. And has Halva, the Rune Axe. I will indeed take Priest's Robe, Priest Hat. That's always up for debate, but defense is paramount. Boom and boom. Wow, plus 40 attack, huh? Shogun's Brace, plus 40 attack. We'll take one of each just in case we choose to use it for any reason. I think we're good on everything else. Let's go ahead and sell. Yeah, we're done with the make and Valborg. This can go... Keep the... Well, the aromatic root can go, because the fresh isn't that good anymore. The lullaby staff. We got something else this is good. But these two can go. Let's get rid of the blinding... The, well, let's get rid of... Ooh, wow, so much. The Inferno Axe. The Bardic. Double Moon. The Discus. The Bloody Saucer. The blinding... The Binding Circle. And we'll leave the angel thingy there. Yeah, we've got way too much gear. Illusion clothes. Oh, we got a ton of those. Bam. Get rid of that, that, that. We'll keep the rainbow high heels. Let's get rid of the red shoes. The magic high heels. The man's iron claws and the shadow shoes. Woo! And that'll do. A lot of stuff we had to dump just now. Go ahead and equip the magic high heels. Let's equip this stuff too. Energy ring, rage ring, dragon scales. Forgot what we had on her last time. Let's see. Mobius ring. 20 defense. 40. Well, I'm all down for defense for now, so let's just do that. I'm gonna put the holy egg where it belongs. Sweet. And last but not least, the angel circle. We can sell off the battle because there's no reason to keep that either. Because, you know, I like my SP. We could also sell off a lot of our attacking items because they're all really outdated, but we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna get much for it, so let's not deal with it now. Alright! Woo! Lots and lots of stuff sold. Before we end this episode, we're going to power up, and we're going to save and recover. I don't think we'll need to recover, but we'll go ahead and save. And if we have to recover, we have to recover. Let's go ahead and... Let's see. Yeah, everybody should have certain power-ups already equipped. Book of War is all pretty much done there, too. Okay, so there's one book left, as you can see, but we don't know what that is yet, or do we? Let's go ahead and look at our skills. We've maxed Tensei Ken Slash. Let's go ahead and max Impact Bomb. Um, I'm not going to max these other ones right now. Um, hmm. Well, we got to do something with this skill coin. So let's go ahead and invest them in Ryudo since he's, he's got the nasty, nasty ones. There we go. And probably by in due time we'll be able to level that up. Let's level up Nightmare Ball. I think we're good there. Magic. Let's finish off this stupid holy egg. Alright, the holy egg is maximized. Let's mess around with the star egg a little bit and see what's actually in here. Ooh, nice. It doesn't seem to have like a super attack, but it does seem to... Nice, has resurrect. This is actually probably a better uh, investment than uh, than the gra This is an upgrade of the gravity egg, really. Let's go ahead and equip that then on Merig with the star egg. So that kind of means we didn't need to invest a lot in the gra in the other egg, but whatever. Too late to go back now, and that's about all we can really do with that. All right, recover. Before we go on, I wanted to check one other thing because I've been neglecting to do it for a while. Yeah, this is part of my problem with uh, with Elena here. She keeps freaking 
losing these things and it drives me insane. Leaf water, glacier. Actually, do I have a better option than that? Water, wind, now uh, we'll go with glacier. And actually, if I really want to be a douche, I could add even more water to it, but there's no point for that when we can give us something else. Strength, speed. Agility sucks, let's give her that. So there we go. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and save, and on the next episode of Let's Play Grandia, we're gonna get to the bottom of what's going on here, because there's some crazy stuff going on, and we got to save the day as usual, so we'll see you then.